This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Hey, it's your weekly dose of Technolust. And hey, to everybody in the United States and people that are overseas that are celebrating, Happy Thanksgiving! That's, that has nothing to do with turkeys. No. No. Wait. Wait. Turkeys. turkeys. I love turkeys. Mmm, turkeys. Gerbil, gerbil, gerbil. <laughs> so speaking of Thanksgiving, there's also this thing called Black Friday. Ooh, and Cyber Monday, don't forget and about Cyber that And Cyber Monday, which I'm super excited about. But if you guys are looking for really cool hacker gear, we have mm -hmm. some stuff in the hack shop. Ooh, and Hack and 5 we're gonna swag. have cool sales on our Hack 5 swag and yes, our cool very gadgets. excited about that. So keep that in mind when you want to go shopping hey, and support us. That's what keeps Hack 5 going. So thank you everybody who has put your dollars behind keeping this guy on the air. We truly appreciate it. We are so blessed to be on the air and to be all fun and cool in here. I agree. We yes. are. Speaking of shows that are on air or maybe mm -hmm. aren't, Techzilla was canceled and mm -hmm. I was doing Techzilla for the past year. It, it was very sad, but we, we popped some champagne and we had a good time on the last episode. I like, so tip some for my homies. I know, right? Yeah. Patrick Norton, man, he's, he's a great co-host. Not as good as you, I promise. Ah, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, that seems, it seems like the end of an era or something. It kind of feels like it, but you know, um, the, it, to quote my, my co-host over there, he said, shows come and go, sometimes they survive and sometimes they don't, and networks might change. So if networks want to change it up a little bit and do, you know, whatever they feel like doing, then mm -hmm. shows get canceled. So. I'm doing other stuff. Well, they didn't euthanize Patrick, and that's what's <laughs> the most important. Patrick. And you're still here. So I am still here. Yes, and you can always find Hack5 at H-A-K, the number 5.org. Always. Just Google it. We'll, we'll be there. Always. We will be No there. matter what. Let's see. What else is important going on? Um, I think that's about I it. Think, oh, no. Oh, <gasps> no. I think it was what? somebody's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Are there really pineapples in here? Uh, yeah, mm. there's um. This looks delicious. It's a it's a pineapple gonna, cake. Yep. Oh my god! Just gonna you guys put that right That's there. That's awesome. These are, these are SMA instead of RPSMA, so oh, good. really good reception. Yeah, and we excellent. put some of the uh, are these a uh, nine dBI. Nah, six, six dBI, six? but we're okay. using MIMO, so we've got you know oh, four by four. Nice. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Gonna, let me just I'm just gonna take a little test of this <laughs> right here. Oh yeah, it's good. So Thanks, happy guys. birthday! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I will eat this later. Oh, I have been into something really cool. Mm. Um, I just discovered this book. I kind of mm -hmm. stole it from somebody. <laughs> it's called Getting Started with Arduino. So this teaches you about the hardware of the Arduino. Uh -huh. And it teaches you a little bit about breadboards and resistors and things like that. Uh -oh. And LEDs. So this is dangerous. I'm might have found my next obsession. Uh oh. Um, I don't know. How would you guys feel about doing some Arduino segments? Hide your soldering I'm irons. No, um, actually, this would be fantastic. In fact, I was just talking to Glitch uh, on IRC not too long ago, just about uh, he's got an awesome Arduino project that he's putting together Ooh. that's a rover and it like drives around and it uses pineapple to control the Arduino <gasps> and he's got, it's gonna do hangouts. We're gonna have really cool robots. This is awesome. Robots at the Hack 5 warehouse. I can't wait until we get telepresence with IRC streaming live goodness and the other things. Oh, which we'll be able to do now. I didn't tell you about this. What? Sorry, we're totally inside baseball. We should save all of this to the end. There's <laughs> there's actually a uh, there's so a segment exciting. coming up, I promise. It's a really good one about the encryption and the fun happiness. But Shannon, I'm very excited to let you know that we will soon have bandwidth oh, at the warehouse. Thank, mm -hmm. thank Kami. Thank all those lords yeah. and deities. Well, <sighs> finally. we're going to have 600 megabits down Ooh. and 80 megabits up because it was the only way we That's were able here. to convince Comcast to run a line here was to buy four of their top business accounts with all the static IP addresses. Oh my gosh. They wanted $44,000 to run a line. So Are I got them serious? to eat the cost if we signed up for four business lines. It ain't cheap, but we're gonna have all the bandwidth, which means Good. Minecraft servers for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so we can do some we, streaming. we're gonna have to bring back the Thunder Kitten Assault Force for this oh one because I can't wait to show you these racks we'll so be installing. Cool. Yes, I can't mm. wait. This mm -hmm. is super, super exciting. Hack things five. are happening. Things, awesome things racks. are happening. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so mm -hmm. let us let us communicate securely. Yes, let us. So this has obviously been something that we're very, very proud of is secure 
uh, emails, mm -hmm. Mailvelope. We tried out Mailvelope for a little while. I've been using it. I love it. And I, I love the fact that every, since we did that segment, I've gotten a ton of PGP email. Me too. But yeah. you know what's so beautiful in this new, you know, post Snowden era that we live in? There's so many great, you know, there's a lot of snake oil out there, right? <laughs> yeah. But in addition to that, there's some really cool open source stuff. And I'm really keen on the one that you've brought to the table today. Yes. So this one that I've checked out is called Keybase.io. And you can go over to Keybase.io and check it out for yourself. Uh, they give a really good description on their page about what they are all about. So you get a public key, and then you get it safely, and it starts with a social media username. So not the actual key. You oh, don't really? have to worry about that necessarily. Well, you don't even have to have a key. All to, so, yeah. so even if you don't have a PGP key, you're all set because <laughs> so you might be right wondering now. like oh is it just a website but you can also use this in the command line it's completely open source so you can find all the code over at github oh, yeah. this allows you to get that actual public key without having to you know share them offline or having to write them down for somebody else or however you decided to share it well so, key exchange is like a big deal you know key yes. signing parties like getting people together to actually use their keys and so this kind of solves that, and I love the way that it integrates social into it. So hey, Me you know what? maybe this will be the thing that makes encryption a more socially acceptable thing, you know? God, that would be amazing. So uh, if you're interested in signing up, right now they are in their alpha phase, so they only do invites. I have four invites. I have so four. So tweet at, at snubs. So yeah, everybody follow me on Twitter, all of you. All of you. No, I'm just <laughs> playing. All right, so basically when you sign up, you get this key base uh, passphrase, never sent to the Keybase server, so this is however you actually, you know, log into your site. It's salted, it's stretched with S-Crypt in the browser. So, so that means it actually takes your password and then beefs it up, it essentially. It beefs it up. Yeah, exactly. And it uses S-Crypt. S-Crypt is S -Crypt. what's So up. what is S-Crypt? S -Crypt? Well, okay, so you remember, like, everybody's like, oh, yeah, our stuff is totally secure because we MD5 your password. It's like, oh, oh fail. It might as well be plain text at that point. But uh, S-Crypt and B-Crypt are some awesome alternatives to that that are actually made for encryption, not made for like hashing files to say this is the file you think you're downloaded. So, uh, and the fantastic thing about this is it all happens in the browser, so your password never touches their server. Mm, awesome. Mm -hmm. So basically what you can do is uh, if you don't already have some kind of public key set up, uh, if you haven't created one through Mailvelope or through, what is it, uh, OpenPGP? OpenPGP or, or GPG. You know, what have you. Key, Keybase can do that for you. So you can set one up through Keybase. It'll create a 4096 Keybit pair. Your public key pair will be created for you, and your encrypted private key will be made, made available to you as well. So um, I should mention on their main page, they say Keybase.io is a Keybase client. However, certain crypto actions there we go. Signing and decrypting are limited to users who store client encrypted copies of their private keys on the server, an optional feature we didn't mention above. On the website, all crypto is performed in JavaScript. In your browser, some people have strong feelings about this for good reason. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you're logged in. Oh, thank you. That's good stuff. Yeah. And, you know, like we said, there's also the, uh, you know, you can actually just go ahead and download it. It's written in Node, mm -hmm. so you can just run this on your Linux machine or whatever have you. Um, and this is fantastic because I have my key right here, but I host it on hack5.org yeah. slash key slash Darren. And you also have it on the MIT I have it site. on the MIT keys or server. So this right. is kind of like a key server, but with a social aspect It put is. In. It's very social. So this is why it's cool, I think, is because it can match up the key base user. So say I want to look for Darren here. Mm -hmm. I can look through for Darren, not through his public key. I don't have to search through the MIT software, but I can look you up via your user. Username. So say I know your Twitter username. I do. It's Hack5Darren. Okay. I can look at your Twitter account. I can see if you've posted your public key on there via Keybase. Ah. And if you have validated yourself through Keybase's website on Twitter. So if you look so, at... Yeah, show me th so I'm, okay. I'm logged in. So I just you. got the invite from you. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and say I already have a key. Okay. I'm just going to paste this yeah, from the Hack5 and site your, and paste in upload your key. that. Okay. It can also store a client encrypted copy of this for the private mm -hmm. key. Um, maybe another time. There we go. I'll do that later, or maybe not. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it in the browser, and it is unavailable to me. OK. How would you like to sign it? Well, OK. That means that I'm actually going to have to get into PGP on mm -hmm. this machine, which I actually haven't set up. 
That's okay. Dang. I can show you on my computer. Okay, show me on yours because I okay. haven't I haven't set up my GPG on that Linux. So install. basically, once you get your profile set up, you have your you know your profile, your username, your face, some kind of picture on it. If you go over to my computer over here, it gives you a bunch of links. So it has a Twitter link, GitHub, Reddit, Coinbase, Hacker News, uh, your proven website or domain, and also a Bitcoin address. So it can help you validate Bitcoin so you're not you know, getting spoofed by somebody up in nowhere. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice right here it says Snubs, which is my username on Twitter. And then it shows you a little tweet link. If you go over to Twitter, and you can do this through the link, so if I click on this, it'll just take you over to my profile. If you go over to Twitter, it's going to allow you to verify yourself through your Twitter account. So I can verify myself. It says, I am Shannon Morse on Keybase.io, and then it gives you a signature based on my public key. So if I click on this link right here, which goes back to Keybase.io, it says it is now proven. So it'll link up my Twitter account to my Keybase account, and it says Snubs and Keybase slash Shannon Morse are the same person. They both control this public key. And then I can go back to here and show the proof. So from here, people can tell that I am who I actually say I am because they know that I own my Twitter account, and they'll be able to start doing this thing called tracking me via Keybase. So from here, I'll be able to do things like I can encrypt messages to you because you know that my public key is actually Shannon Moore's. I can decrypt messages from somebody else. I can also uh, sign them for, to verify that I am who I am. So I can sign a message on here, right here. I can type in a message and then my passphrase down at the bottom for Keybase. And then very end, I can also verify. So if you sent me a message, I could verify it via Keybase's servers. So when I go back to my main page, everything should be set up with all of my external social networking accounts. Um, I should mention that GPG takes care of all of the encryption going on within Keybase using the verified public key that you have posted. So for example, if I wanted to find Darren, I don't necessarily need to use Darren's, need to know Darren's username on Keybase to encrypt a message for him. As long as I know his Twitter username or whatever uh -huh. I'm familiar with, then I'm good. So you've set up your account yes. finally. And now I can <laughs> I, uh, now I can go ahead and actually what, prove my Twitter by what? Yeah. Click and prove Twitter. Yep. And then, and then you put in your Darren. username, whatever that might be. Yes. And then there we go. Enter my Keybase passphrase. It generates a signature. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just post this to Twitter. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, Fantastic. you just copy so and paste let me go that ahead over and to your tweet. Twitter account. So you can't actually post it from Keybase. Yeah, so I there's like no that because now they're doing like the OAuth. Yeah, okay. there's no OAuth going on. So it's, it's completely separate from Keybase. Sweet. Well, I just tweeted that. Cool. So now click and on that button say, down okay, there that says, it. I tweeted it. Verified. Don't delete your proof. Perfect. Aha. Yep. So if this ever gets compromised, I could delete the Twitter account, exactly. and then I then I would be able to disconnect those and be like, whoa, there dude. You go. Although you know, use a good passphrase and don't get it hacked. But Yay. yeah. So that's now awesome. you're all set up, and if you go back to your page mm -hmm. on your actual account, you'll be able to see that now you've been identified, you've been verified via your Twitter, and you can now send me you know, encrypted messages, you can decrypt them via the Keybase website or through the command line as well. And you can also do something called tracking people. So if you search for me up there, mm -hmm. uh, you can put in, I think. Shannon Morse, yeah, there we Shannon go, Morse. I see you. So click there, oh, track and then you can you. track me. So this is gonna send me an email that says, Darren Kitchen is now tracking you. And then if I refresh my page, I can do the same thing with you. I can refresh. Mm -hmm. So sign in oh, again, computers. there we go. It's generating a signature, and now I'm tracking you. Yay! Okay. Ah, and I see that you are also tracking Mubix and Jason yeah. Street and HD Moore and Seb, um, and you're being tracked by Peter Aston. So here's an idea. I know that you actually just set up your account. I know that that's you, so I'm going to track you too. Aha. Uh -huh. So I'll go. put in my So I, I like the I, I like that it's kind of like Twitter like following people because it l gives some sort of like it's not a web of trust say per se but it's it's g get lending validity to that this is actually the Shannon Morse I'm looking for yes, which exactly. I really like that. Yeah, so basically, you know, it makes you more verifiable. The more accounts that you have following you or the more accounts that you've set up so that you're you're verified via your GitHub or whatever that makes you more verifiable. So mm -hmm. it's it's kind of like being legit. So think of it like, it's kind of like Twitter following in a way, but it checks your proofs. And then if I'm absolutely happy, I get a snapshot of those proofs with my private key. 
so I can move on to a different computer. I don't necessarily have to have your public key on all of my different mm -hmm. computers, which could be an issue. So I just have to know that you know you are who you say you are. Go over to Keybase and do encryption or decryption through their servers. You know what is super cool about this is I don't have to know your Keybase. Yep. But if I'm if your Keybase has your if I know your Twitter and your Twitter is proven on Keybase and you've also proven your Coinbase.com account, yeah. now I can actually send you money with Bitcoin yes, you can. without having to have previously known your Bitcoin uh, or your Coinbase.com identity. So I love it kind of ties it all together and in a secure mean, not yeah. like some of those other like about.me or other types yes, of exactly. little websites that this like This makes it this makes it very, very open to a wider public, I feel like. It, it makes PGP more understandable. Huh. It makes encryption like a social network, where it's it like does. the next new thing you got to get on. Isn't that cool? OK, cool. I think it's awesome, because it's it's going to be welcoming. It doesn't <laughs> feel scary whenever you log in And it in can still be, you know, as, as pretty as this nice, you know, HTML5 with all the cool, you know, uh, it's JavaScript very cute. and all I that. I mean, the guys that stuff. created this also created OkCupid, so yeah. of course it's going to be adorable. Well, it, it looks gorgeous, and I like how <laughs> cute it is, but it's also all up on GitHub. So it is, yeah. It's a fantastic open source it's project. It's legit. Man. I like it. I'm totally cool well, with it. Well, then this track us. I am keybase.io slash Darren Kitchen. And I'm keybase.io slash uh, Shannon Morse. There we go. <laughs> Whatever it might be. There we go. Yay. Okay. Awesome. Well, feedback at hack5.org. Let us know what you think. Um, and we'd love to read your comments on those. And stay tuned because we will be right back to their quick break. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether you have my public key or my private key. When that killer idea hits, you need to snag yourself a domain name and web hosting fast and get this domain.com's got this domain discovery system and an easy checkout process that will have your website up and running in no time at all. And I've told you guys before how much I love domain.com. They're affordable, reliable, easy to use. They're so great on social media. You can tweet them at domain.com and say, hey, thanks for supporting Hack5 for so long. You guys rock. And the guys over at domain.com, they do this because they're huge fans of Hack5 and because they want to hook you up. So they've made a coupon code just for you, it's HAK5, pretty easy to remember, and just use that at checkout for an extra 15% off. So when you think domain names, think domain.com. That just about wraps up this week's episode of Hack 5. Are you enjoying that cake? It's delicious, yeah. yeah. If you want to Thank send you, a Sarah. cake to snubs, you can do that. Just email feedback at hack5.org with an animated GIF of a cake or send a gift to a fan, it's but please really not your e-cycling. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to chew on tin foil or aluminum foil or aluminum. Or antennas. Aluminum foil? Probably not. Mm. It's hey, really tasty. Do you like to roller skate or skateboard or rollerblade or scooter yes! or other forms of personal conveyance? I love all of those things. Well, you can do that in the Hack 5 warehouse. It's the craziest thing. We're having a warehouse warming party, and we invite you all to bring your personal conveyances and, and knee pads and uh, helmet and all sign, of the things. sign a waiver form. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we. What day is that party? That is on Saturday, December 6th. We're going to be meeting <gasps> at the Baltic around 2. It's going to go on all day. Just stay tuned to the Hack 5 Twitter for all of the details, and then we're going to mosey on over to the warehouse. Uh, and you know, light up this uh, roller rave and check out the new space and Sweet. invite you all down. We're gonna have some special guests, some big announcements, some other fun things. Um, oh, we are. I can't wait. Well, I hope I so. Didn't, I didn't know about that I, part. I hope so. Yes. Also, of course, if you want to support us, the best way to do so is over at the HAK shop, which is hackshop.com. Yes, and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can always find us at hak5.org. And uh, with all of that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morris. Trust your techno lust. Bye bye. <laughs>